Today, we'll explore entrepreneurship and vision, examining what makes entrepreneurship crucial, the various types from small businesses to social ventures, and the key traits like creativity and adaptability that lead to success in both modern and biblical contexts. Father, in Jesus' name. Our God and our Father, the time is now again. We have come to your presence again. We want to learn at your feet. Father, teach us from your holy throne above in Jesus' mighty name. Our God and our Father, the grace to actualize the purpose for which we set up to, to this world. Release abundantly upon us in Jesus' mighty name. And breathe upon your word, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, eternal Lord of ages. For in Jesus' eternal name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are welcome to the presence of the Lord. Again, on our Wednesday series. And don't forget that uh, we are in the series of uh, entrepreneurship and vision. Entrepreneurship and uh, vision. We have seen a, a number of things, a number of uh, EUs we have handled since we started the concept of uh, entrepreneurship and uh, vision. Uh, last last uh, part, we told us that uh, me and you and they and other people too can be an entrepreneur. We can we can do it because God has planted the seed of the seed of greatness in every one of us. And the only thing is that we have to actualize it. If you don't actualize it, it cannot it cannot grow. The gift of God that God has deposited in us, we have to actualize it so that it can actually serve its purpose. I normally like to compare issues like that with uh, our popular GSM phone. There are so many applications on our phone, but uh, the great majority of the people, all, all, the only thing they know about that phone is that they can use it to make calls and receive calls, and that is all. If you know that uh, Maybe they can receive text messages only. If you believe that uh, you can do arithmetical functions on it, but the great majority of people don't know more than, oh, my phone rings, let me pick the call. Oh, I want to contact somebody, let me phone that person. And I want to tell you that uh, by the applications on, on our telephone, there are a number of I tell that can be performed, the number of operations that can be performed, but that one is, is subject to our exposure to the handling of that uh, GSM. The same thing, I want to liken with the gift of God already in us. If you don't try something out uh, sometime, you may not know you have the capacity. And that's why I'm saying that uh, it is uh, necessary for us even to charge the gift of God in us. The gift of God has been deposited in us, but we have to activate it. Just like when you have your phone and you don't activate all the numerous functions there, you may not know that the, the phone can perform many, many other operations, in unimaginable operations, just because we have limited ourselves to the use of that phone. The same thing happened when we limited ourselves to just uh, waking up, sleeping, eating, and maybe going on errand or whatever. But there are certain things that when you think very well, and that's what we call the innate ability God has planted into us in our last episode. We have to charge that innate ability God has given us all. Remember, we, we, made, refer we made reference to Abba chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, last, uh, last uh, part. You know, I want us to refer to that part again. Division is for the appointed time. And uh, we have to write, write it down. And it's not just writing it down. We can run, we should run with it. We should run with it. Even if you write the vision down, and we don't run with that vision, the vision becomes ineffective. So the same thing with the gift of God in us. We have to, we have to stir it up. The gift of God in us, we have to stir it up and begin to do that we, 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 we thought we were not able to do before by the spirit of the most high God. So that is what we want to we want to do today, and our first scripture it takes us from our Abba chapter uh, two, one, one or two. The Lord will give us understanding in Jesus' mighty name. We, we, we want to handle 
one issue that we had handled before today, because I want us to go into an area that uh, we have to practicalize after this uh, after this part. And the next part, we have, to, we, have, we have to start practicalizing what we have to do. Don't forget our promise that I'll give you even the generation of uh, of our young uh, people now and what they can do at each of these uh, generations. We have not got to that one. We have to prepare our ground, wet our appetite before we actually get to that. Uh, so what we want to do today, we want to see how to start actualizing our entrepreneurship career. How do we start uh, actualizing our entrepreneurship uh, uh, career? Then I, we have told us what uh, who an entrepreneur is. We have looked at it from the technical point of view and from the general point of view. Me and you can be an entrepreneur depending on what we want to what we want to do. But do do not write off yourself. Don't write off yourself. You can do it. That thing that God has deposited in you, God has not created an empty a, a, an empty mind. He has loaded you with uh, ideas. But we have to actualize it. So how do how do we now start? How do we now start looking at that? Uh, look at that which God has uh, given unto us by our vision, which we have written down, which we now want to start running uh, with. Earlier on, we said, and I want to start today's uh, episode too by saying that you have to develop a a product idea, and that's what we call. Conception and development in in uh, marketing, conception and development of idea. I believe that you understand that it is not the day you get to the university that uh, that university was set up. It is not even the day that that university uh, was uh, was announced, you know, to, uh, was inaugurated. Or whatever name we want to call it, the, the first day of operation. It's not the it's not the first it's not the first cycle of that university. For example, just like any other any other thing, it is only the time that people people become aware of it. A number of things have, have gone under under underground before a university set up. Even even a church, even even be, even when we look at it from the point of view of the, of a student now. So many background, uh, background preparation must have been put into it. It's only when that person gets to the university, that like, yes, it's now an undergraduate. Don't forget that it started, that person started from uh, maybe nursery school or whatever name we give to them now. Uh, maybe uh, uh, GSS, uh, SSL, whatever name we are uh, gradually. It's not the day he, 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 he starts his university education that he has actually started education. There are so many things that have gone on now, even before he started uh, the nursery, which most of the time uh, some people call uh, Jelly Osimi. There are some other things, there are some other things that have gone into it. I think the parents must have been preparing that person. The same thing, when you want to come up with an idea, you don't just say, yeah, tomorrow I want to, I want to set up a company. There are so many things that must gone into that must have gone into into that preparation, even registration of uh, even registration, although even before registration at the corporate affairs commission, depending on whatever company that it is, you must come with that idea. And by the time the idea comes, now you have to look at some pros and pros of that idea. You know, you, you, you walk you walk through that idea to see the the, the workability or or otherwise. Of that particular idea, you know, so when you when you when you think of uh, the workability of the, you are still conceiving that idea at that level, conceiving that idea. By the time you finish conceiving that idea, you now develop that that, that that idea. By the time you are conceiving that idea, nobody will know that anything is crossing your mind. Nobody will know. It's only you and your God with the vision that has deposited in you. That will be working at that at level, but when we get to the development of that idea, then people may people may become aware a little bit of uh, maybe when you have when you you have, you have some questions, you go to some areas, you make some inquiries, you are still you have you have still not uh, have done with that uh, product, uh, pro, pro, you have not even started. But these are the fundamental things that you have to do. I'm challenging all of us to follow this procedure that I want to give today. 
for every product of of every entrepreneurship skill that want to exhibit. Before of all, conceive that idea. What is that that's idea? Even the Bible has said that even who is that person that want to build a house that will not first of all count the, the call so that the thing will not be abandoned half a way. So the same thing with uh, the idea that God has deposited unto us. We are not limiting the, the power of God. God that gives you the idea we see you through. But you are, there, are, there, are, there are always your own part of the contract, just like God God will do his own part. You know, the, the, the part of God is sacrosanct. But you and me, we have to we have to walk towards anything and see uh, how, how would I do it? Can I do it alone? Do I take advice from people? That is that is part of conceiving the idea of that particular thing. When you are finished conceiving that idea, you now go out asking some question, making up all those things that you feel will help you in doing that. But depending on what you want to do anyway, that's what will determine where you go to ask for uh, information. Even at this level. The product have not, has not been made at all. By the time you finish with the conception of the idea, then you now go to the, the, the next uh, stage of uh, developing that idea to now look at just like uh, what I can call a prototype of what you want to do. By the time you get the prototype of what you want to do, you are free. that's not even what you want to do. You don't get the idea of what you want to do. If there's anything you want to amend there, you amend it from the, from the prototype. What I mean by prototype is uh, something, an example of what, uh, something that will look, uh, look just like the idea you are conceiving, just like when you have uh, the prototype of a house, of a build or whatever. So that is it. You know, a prototype of what you want to do, let it be with you. Then there's an amendment you will see from that prototype. Then by, by that you finish the, uh, the, the amendment of that uh, pro, uh, prototype of, uh, of the thing, then you now go into the production of that uh, thing. By that you finish the production, that is when the product will be introduced into the, into the uh, public. It will be introduced. So some school of thought believe that uh, conception and development should not be part of a product life cycle. But I belong to the school of thought that uh, conception idea and, and development must be part of the product uh, life cycle. Although the argument that uh, the people that didn't want conception idea uh, and development of, of, of idea to be part of that is that uh, they said product life. They were saying the life. Well, and I, and I start to I start to be challenged that it's still part of life, you know. Although when a child is born, the, the conception the conception is there. Then the development of that of that futures up to an average of maybe nine months or so is only when that uh, product or when that child is born. That say hey, congratulations, congratulations. Yes, I agree with those people that say that. Uh, Conception and development should not be there, but because of the, the importance of what we are we are teaching in this uh, in this course, I have to uh, let me enjoy you to allow you to be part of that thing. If you don't conceive that idea, you don't develop that idea, you don't you, you don't you don't make that product that will be introduced. Subject to that um, explanation, I want us to add it to what we are doing. So, development of uh, the idea that we have, we help us to, to make up that particular product. By the time we are sure of that product, then the product will now start its uh, actual life cycle. That is, the product will be introduced to the, the market. Then, after some time, you have been, people have been patronizing and patronizing and patronizing. Then the thing will now go into what we call uh, the growth, uh, the growth stage. That is, the, the, it go to the growth stage. Then from that growth stage, from the diagram that you are looking at, you will see from the growth stage, it goes into the maturity. It go into the maturity maturity stage. And uh, we're subject to some explanation that I will give you in the course of this uh, uh, teaching. Then the product may decide to may, 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 may fall, may decline. Maybe after the after some time that may be declined but uh i like to advise my student or even give uh that opinion to my student that uh, it is not automatic 
that when a product gets to maturity, it must decline. It is not automatic. Although that may, it may show a sign of a, a decline. But improved technology, with improved technology, then the thing will pick up even from rather than declining, it will go. There are some products now that uh, even 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 before I before I was born, the pro such product have been existing. Yet they are still existing by now. So if we want to go strictly by the rule of introduction, growth, maturity, decline, we will have said that uh, those products will have been off, 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 off the shelves now. But because of improved technology, then you can still see some of these uh, products. I agree, a great majority of some products have gone on that, on that way. But at least we still have many of them that are still able you know, to, to storm the, 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 the weather and uh, they are still, they are still off. So with improved technology, I know that uh, the thing will not uh, visual away, just like uh, just like here with the proof technology. But I want you to look at something. When I introduce, uh, when I introduce the, the the concept of conception and development, look at the bottom of that diagram that you are, you are looking at very well. You will see that in, in economics we we call we call something uh, x axis and y axis. You will see that uh, in, in the y axis, that is uh, the horizontal the horizontal line there, and the x axis of the vertical line. You see what we have there. You will see that the, when the product is uh, is uh, introduced, it takes the source from angle ninety. It takes that source, you know, just like dividing angle ninety to angle forty five. That is how you see the the, the, the product is introduced at that level. There is no pro there is no profit. That's where I want to I want to, to, to understand those people that believe uh, conception and development should not be part of it. I wanted to agree that uh, even before the introduction, there are some costs that you have uh, you have uh, incurred on that product in the conception of the idea, in the development of that idea, in the production of that particular thing before you now put it out to the, to the people to, uh, for sale. And that time, when you look at that diagram, you see so that dotted line that is below that, uh, that, that uh, X axis and Y axis. You see that the dotted line comes from the bottom. That is to tell us that, uh, that, to tell us that before the introduction of the product, what the product is experiencing is just uh, it's just uh, getting uh, some cost, some cost that is just adding to cost, adding to cost. And by the time you look at that graph, that, that uh, S and Y, you see, you see two graphs. One graph goes on the head of uh, introduction, uh, growth, maturity, and decline. That one is uh, that one is the, the, the graph for that product. But the graph underneath will tell you that uh, the, there is a cost that we, we incur. Even before the introduction of that uh, product, you now see that that curve visually away after some time. Look at that diagram again very well. You will see that after some time, the dotted line didn't come under that, uh, that, that original graph and didn't go too far. And that one is telling us that uh, the cost you the cost you incur in making that product, by the time you start, uh, by the time you start selling that product, part of the, uh, part of the amount that you first of all get, will be part of uh, repaying your cost and uh, a little bit of profit. Initially, you may not have any profit. Initially, you may not have profit. But we increase sales and patronage of the people. You will see that the, the second graph just dropped away. And that is the fact that uh, by continuing a patronage of your product by the people, then the, the sales revenue will be higher. Your profit margin will be get, getting higher and higher. And other than that, the, there will no longer be any outstanding cost on that approach. That is for this that that second the second graph you have there. Now, what, what am I saying? I'm telling us that uh, because of what I want to go into it, it, it's not a bed of roses you want to go and sleep on. That is, you have to do some work to make sure that uh, your idea is uh, actualized. No one will help you to do it. It is only you and your God and the vision that God has given uh, to you. That we do that one. I think I've explained that uh, one very. I will still do it just like uh, before we finish this thing. And also, but this, uh, after looking at the development of the product, then validate your idea. You know, validate that idea. You have, of course, you must have validated it before you go into 
that uh, production. But make sure you validate your idea. And also, before we, you know, have run, have run out the, the, um, the product life cycle, even starting with the conceptual development, I think that one stands like, like this. But there are other things that we have to, to have to eat. That's uh, the validation of that idea. Don't just go into it without validating the idea that you want to do. You know, you don't know whether whether it will be acceptable, whether it will not be acceptable in that particular location. And let me tell you, the fact that an idea is not acceptable in a location does not mean that it cannot be acceptable in other locations. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Even where people say, hey, you cannot do it. Oh, you cannot do it here. After some time, they will, they, 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 they will, they, they will come to town with you. But make sure that if there's hostility, wisdom is uh, required in that area. The next thing you have to do, even, be, even before you, you do that product, you have run that, uh, that product life cycle, but before you, you, in the process of conception and development, make sure you, you look at your environment, environment very well. That's what I'm talking about there. Look at the, we call it scanning the environment. You have to scan the environment to see where, where to see uh, there, are, uh, there are, of course, there will, be, there will be something that will call your strength your weakness, then there will be opportunities and uh, threat. You sit down, in the process of looking at, uh, scanning your environment, there are two things, there are two things, uh, although there are four letter words, there is an acronym, you call it SWOT, it's an acronym, that is S-W-O-T. The first two, the first two goes for internal, internal environment, that is what you can control yourself. The other two, uh, come to under what I call the external environmental factor. You cannot control that one. And in America, you have it spread as towels. You have, you have it, that is, they start, fr they, they start from the rear and uh, compete from the beginning there. That is, that is a T O W S. That is, in America, it is, it is, a, it is a referred to as a towels. But in this part of uh, the world, there are many, many people believe it that it must start, it must start with the letter S, that is S W O T, that is S stands for strength. Your, what, what are your strengths? Look, look at your strength. Then consider your weaknesses. Then on the outside, on the external environment, what are the opportunities around in that, in that area? And of course, what are your strengths available to garner in the opportunity that is there? The Lord will help us in Jesus' mighty name. We have run that particular product life cycle. The reason we do it is for us to know that uh, there are some pre preliminary work that we want to do, that we have to do as, a, as an entrepreneur. Don't, 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 don't just wake up one day from one side of the bed and say, I, I want to go and manufacture those things. So that I, I pray that we will not fail in Jesus' mighty name. So you have to see that, get yourself together. As a division that the Lord has given unto you, then ask for divine direction, and I know that our God will give you the direction to go to execute about your vision in Jesus' mighty name. Again, I summarize that that that, that uh, graph that you you have, you have seen earlier. On. So it's like uh, it's like uh, well, in economic we call it, that's what we call uh, the X axis and Y axis. You see it that is properly labeled in that uh, that uh, diagram. And when you look at uh, that uh, angle, uh, 90 there, that angle, I will say even 45 now, you will see that uh, the, the graph, the graph that showed the revenue, the graph that showed the revenue take its source in from that, from, from that angle 45 there. Then you now see that it goes on to introduction, on, on to uh, growth, on to maturity, on to, on to, on to decline. That, that, that graph shows that when the thing goes on, then the, thing, the, the, the graph may come down. But if uh, there are technological input that are added there, then you can see continue for some time. Uh, the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The time of our faith will bless your name. For these that you have brought to your people today, accept our praise in Jesus' mighty name. The grace for them to understand the concept of what we have brought to them today, release upon them in Jesus' mighty name. We pray that you help us, O Lord, even to, to, to jail the gift of God in all, so that we can use our own hands.
to do that which you are proposed how to do in life in Jesus' mighty name. We shall never be a failure in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we bless your name for the abundance of your, of your strength and greatness of honor. Be that lifted higher in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Amen.